नमस्कार मैं अनुदीवान एक बार फिर स्वागत है आपका ई विद्या चैनल नंबर नाइन पर आप देख रहे हैं लाइव इंटरक्शन सेशन और ये सेशन इस बार हमारा है क्लास नाइन के लिए हमारा चैप्टर है इम्प्रूवमेंट इन फूड रिसोर्सेज पार्ट टू इसके लिए हमारे साथ हमारे एक्सपर्ट हैं सुशील कुमार केंद्रीय विद्यालय लखनऊ से हेलो सर नमस्कार बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आपका नमस्कार मैम तो बच्चों अगर आपको इस सेशन में कुछ भी सवाल पूछना हो इस टॉपिक से रिलेटेड तो आप हमें कॉल कर सकते हैं डबल एट डबल जीरो डबल फोर जीरो डबल फाइव नाइन पर या फिर आप हमें अपनी क्वेरीज मेल कर सकते हैं डी टी एच डॉट क्लास नाइन एट सी आई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट इन पर तो आप अपने सवाल अपने जवाब सवाल पूछने के लिए कॉपी और पेन अपने साथ में रख लीजिए क्योंकि अब हम अपना सेशन शुरू करने वाले हैं इस सेशन को आप कुछ ही देर बाद यूट्यूब यू, पर भी देख सकते हैं एन ऑफिशियल पर तो सर इस चैप्टर का नाम है इम्प्रूवमेंट इन फूड रिसोर्सेज पार्ट टू सर सबसे पहला सवाल यही आता है क्योंकि हमारी पॉपुलेशन बढ़ती जा रही है तो क्या कुछ तरीके हैं जिससे हम वराइटी ऑफ क्रॉप्स को इम्प्रूव कर सकते हैं यस मैम सो Uh, we have discussed about how we can improve in different food resources. So can uh, so we will be able to fulfill the demand of increasing population. Uh, Madam, you have last last week, which was on November 15, the whole world's population was about 8 Arab countries. Uh, Bharat's contribution is about 145 crore. So we are the world's population of the world's population. सेकेंड नंबर पर लार्जेस्ट पॉपुलेशन रखने वाले देश हैं सो देर आर सो मैनी चैलेंजेस हाउ वी कैन इंक्रीज द ईल्ड इन द डिफरेंट क्रॉप सो दैट वी विल बी एबल टू फुलफिल द डिमांड ऑफ द इंक्रीजिंग पॉपुलेशन सो वी हैव डिस्कस दैट देर आर सो मैनी मैथड बाई विच वी विल बी एबल टू नॉट ओनली इंक्रीज द ईल्ड but we will be able to increase the nutritional value of the different crops like uh, cereals so uh, in the last session my student we have discussed that the wheat rice maize millet and sorghum provide the carbohydrate and these crops comes under the category of cereals and there are the pulses uh, that is the gram black gram green gram pigeon pea lentil soybean groundnut so these all provide the protein which is very important for making the structural framework in our body there are so many oil seed crop that are the source of the fat as well as oil like sesam castor mustard and sunflower as well as the people are using the vegetable spice and fruit as well as our animals are depend on the fodder crops like barsim oats sudan grass and food for the livestock so we people get so many things and there are the crops that we have discussed that are depending on the in which season they are raising or they are uh, 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 they are uh, getting so uh, these are the kharif rabi and jayat so kharif and rabi and jayat these are the crops so as well as the uh, kharif crop is concerned so it is usually uh, इसको हम लोग बोते हैं जून से अक्टूबर के बीच में राइस मेज एंड व्हीट इसकी कैटेगरी के अंतर्गत आती है रबी विंटर सीजन में अभी नवंबर में गेहूं की बुवाई चल रही है मटर की बुवाई चल रही है सो दीज कम्स अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ द रबी क्रॉप्स लाइक सोयाबीन पिजन पी व्हीट एंड जेड जायद क्रॉप इज सोविंग इन द समर लाइक मार्च टू जून एंड डेट इज द सुगर केन वाटर एंड कोकम्बर so uh, we have discussed lot about anu madam in the last uh, session that is the how we can improve the different crops so improvement in crop yield uh, can be done by the uh, by the three main uh, activities so one is the crop variety improvement another approach is the crop production improvement and another one is the crop protection improvement so at the crop variety improvement so uh, it is basically done with the help of hybridization or introduction of the gene or uh, by introducing the gene or by manipulating the different crops by the, uh, getting the desirable character so we will be able to fulfill the demand of the uh, pupil so uh, as uh, uh, today we are going to uh, discuss uh, that uh, why do we need to perform a crop variety improvement so uh, it is done to increase the yield of the crop 
it is uh, improving the quality of the crop as well as we people are uh, able to improve the crops that is able to uh, show the resistance toward the biotech and abiotech stress so there are a lot of stress that is being uh, um, counteract by the plant uh, uh, it may be the biotech as well as abiotech uh, so many uh, experiment we are done to shorten the maturity period of the crops so uh, they will allow, allow the farmer to grow a variety of the crops in a year so by the help of different approaches uh, we people uh, able to uh, uh, increase in the yield of the crop so uh, uh, as well as second approach is the crop production management so it usually uh, includes the nutritional management irrigation as well as cropping pattern so today we will discuss in detail how we can be able to uh, make the nutrition management so nutrition management as well as concern so it is the controlling the selection time and amount of the nutrient supply to the crop so plant get nutrients usually from the air water and soil so there are over all 16 nutrient are required by the plants so out of the 16 nutrients some are the macronutrients like carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen phosphorus potassium and some are the micronutrient like magnesium molybdenum zinc so uh, we can uh, classify the all nutrient in the two category one is the macronutrient the nutrient which are required in a large quantities by the plant are known as macronutrient and the nutrient which are required in the small quantity it are known as micronutrient so uh, there are the sources from which the nutrient Uh, are getting by the plants it may be the air that provide the carbon and oxygen uh, it is the water so water provide the hydrogen and oxygen as well as from the soil uh, there is the macronutrient and micronutrient are provided to the plants so uh, uh, overall uh, plant get nutrient from the air soil and water so among the 16 nutrient required by the plant so six are required in the large quantity uh, that are known as macronutrient and uh, other uh, are known as micronutrient so macronutrient usually the nitrogen phosphorus potassium calcium magnesium and sulfur and uh, rest seven are required in small quantity so uh, they are known as micronutrient so micronutrient are the iron magnesium magnesium boron zinc uh, as well as copper molybdenum and chlorine so a uh, plant get the nutrient from the manure so uh, now the question is arising what is manure so manure is prepared by the decomposition of plant and animal waste it usually contain the organic matter and nutrient so it help to increase the fertility of the soil so uh, there are two types of the manure one type uh, is the compost so it is prepared by the decomposition of the plant and animal waste jise hum log gobar kehte hain to uske uh, decomposition se यूजुअली कंपोस्ट पिट में बनाई जाती है देयर इज अनदर मेथड दैट इज नोन एज वर्मी कंपोस्टिंग सो कंपोस्टिंग दैट इज डन बाय यूजिंग द रेड वर्म और अर्थ वर्म इज कॉल वर्मी कंपोस्टिंग सो दिस अप्रोच इज फैसिलिटेटेड बाय द रेड वर्म एंड अर्थ वर्म स्टूडेंट्स यू आर नोइंग दैट अर्थ वर्म्स आर द फ्रेंड ऑफ द फार्मर सो अर्थ वर्म प्ले मेजर रोल इन मेकिंग द वर्मी कंपोस्टिंग so uh, there is another approach by the help of which we will be able to prepare the green manure so uh, before sowing the seed the farmers uh, usually bow, uh, sow the some green plants like sunhem guar etc it is mixed in the soil by plowing so first of all uh, such plants are grown in the soil like cluster green like sesbenia aculeata like cowpea or like crotularia gentia or sesbenia rostrata so uh, after raising these plants so they are after uh, plowing is done and these plant turn into the green manure so they make the soil rich in nitrogen and phosphorus so uh, uh, there is another approach by which the farmers provide the nutrient to the plant with the help of the fertilizer so they uh, usually the fertilizers are the chemical substances that are made commercially in the uh, factory 
so the, usually fertilizer provide the nitrogen phosphorus potassium and help to increase the fertility of the soil and crop yield but uh, now it is there are so many uh, ill effect being uh, uh, observed with the help of the fertilizer because fertilizer in long term uh, making the adverse effect on the soil due to which the fertility decrease in the long term of the soil due to the use of the fertilizer that is why there are lot of focus on the raising the crop with the help of manure or with the help of uh, vermi composting or with the help of the organic farming so uh, usually uh, manure is a natural organic substance while the fertilizer is a man made substance and manure contains a small amount of nutrients and it adds humus to the soil so humus is very important for the soil and the fertilizer is rich in plant nutrient when does not add the humus to the soil and uh, 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 manure uh, is said to be the cheap and uh, affordable but fertilizer uh, seems to be costly uh, so uh, as the fertilizers are concerned so pupils are nowadays are shifting towards the uh, making the compost in uh, in in a small pits or the food scrap or soil papers and plant and yard waste as well as tea chai ki pattiyan phalon ke chhilke ya phir dead insect animals jo bhi to iski madad se now pupils are making the compost and that compost is increasing the soil fertility and seem to be very useful so another approach uh, now we are going to discuss that is known as irrigation so irrigation bachcho sinchai kehte hain in, uh, in during the irrigation the supply of water to the crop is uh, done it is known as irrigation and we all know that water is very important factor water is said to be the elixir of the life uh, meri aapki zindagi plants ki zindagi ke liye water bahut zaruri hai aur isliye Uh, there are different kind of the irrigation systems are used to supply water to the agriculture field they may be the well so in some part of the country or some part of the world wells are used and there are the two types of the well one is known as dug dug well and another is known as tube well so dug well is collected water from the uh, water bearing strata and tube well water is collected from the deeper strata uh, there are the canals so in this system canals receive water from the reservoir and rivers and distribute to the field so fertilizer ka upyog aur canals ki dam par green revolution hum logon ne duniya mein dekhi jiski wajah se uh, norman walock aur swami nathan sahab ke netritva mein bharat mein aur norman walock se sahab ke netritva mein duniya mein hum logon ne green revolution dekhi usme bahut sari paidavar humne apne kheton mein mehsoos ki so there are uh, 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 the green revolution usually uh, solely depend on the fertilizer use of the fertilizer use of the pesticide and use of the various method of the irrigation like canals so uh, there are one another system that is known as river lift system so in this system water is lifted from the river to irrigate field close to the river so there are the tank as well as check dam so now government of india is also making so many check dams due to which Uh, we will be able to stop rain water from flowing down and help to increase the ground water level and reduce the soil erosion so now i would like to show you some of the photographs that are basically related with the different uh, different ways of the irrigation so uh, this is the one of the popular method that is known as drip irrigation tapak sinchai or micro irrigation now it is so a uh, lot of focus is done to uh, adopt this kind of the irrigation because this kind of the irrigation usually uses the uh, sufficient and less amount of the water that is used by the plant so uh, but there are so many other kind of the irrigation system but nowadays pupils are using the rain water or rooftop water uh, uh, that is associated with the water conservation and that water can be used for the irrigation of the plants as well as there is the water shed Uh, by which the pupils are able to increase the ground water or aquifer so uh, this is the whole about the irrigation system Sir, now aapne abhi are... green revolution ke bare mein bhi kuch zikr kiya tha to kya hum isko detail mein apne students ko samjha sakte hain ki green revolution ne kis tarah se isme yogdan kiya 
yes ma'am uh, there are two type of the revolution usually being asked with our students one is known as green revolution and another known as white revolution so usually the green revolution related with the increase in the food uh, increase in the plant yield increase in the crop yield by wage of the uh, using the uh, advanced method or like so uh, uh, first of all the green revolution concept being uh, employed by the norman boylock he was the scientist of the mexico aur bharat mein swami nathan sahab the jo bharat ki taraf se unke hi uh, jo batai hui baatein the aur unke sath milke kaam kar rahe the to jo green revolution ki bachcho concept hai usme kya hua ki jo 1960 1970 ke samay hamare desh ki population kafi zyada thi but hamare desh ko utni paidavar nahi thi logon ko ek time बिना खाए हुए भी सोना पड़ता था तो उसी समय ये सारे एक्सपेरिमेंट चल रहे थे दुनिया के अलग अलग हिस्सों में और स्वामीनाथन साहब के नेतृत्व में भारत में भी इस पर बहुत सारे प्रयोग हुए इसमें ऐसी फसलों के जो एक प्रकार से बोनी फसल थी गेहूं की और दूसरी प्रकार की ऐसी फसल थी जिसमें ज्यादा दाने थे दोनों के बीच में संक्रमण कराया और एक ऐसी फसल तैयार की गेहूं की जिसकी जो हाइट बोनी हो और उसमें ज्यादा से ज्यादा दाने लगे मतलब उसकी जो बाली है उसमें ज्यादा ज्यादा दाने हैं तो ये जो एक्सपेरिमेंट किया गया इसके आधार पर नया प्रकार का गेहूं का पौधा बनाया गया विद द हेल्प ऑफ हाइब्रिडाइजेशन और फिर इसके बाद इरिगेशन के अच्छे सिस्टम तैयार किए गए नहरों को भारत के अलग अलग हिस्सों तक पहुंचाया गया डैम बनाए गए उसमें बहुत सारा काम हुआ इसके अलावा फिर जो इंसेक्ट फसल की पैदावार खत्म कर देते थे उनके लिए मारने के लिए पेस्टिसाइड का उपयोग किया गया और साथ में चूंकि उर्वरक क्षमता मिट्टी की निश्चित होती है तो मिट्टी की उर्वरक क्षमता को बढ़ाने के लिए डिफरेंट फर्टिलाइजर का उपयोग किया गया इसके आधार पर फिर इतनी ज्यादा उपज हुई अनुजी कि आज हम पूरी दुनिया का पेट भरने के काबिल हैं हमारे देश में इतना गेहूं पैदा होता है कि हम पूरी दुनिया को लगभग सप्लाई कर सकते हैं ना केवल अपनी जरूरत पूरी कर रहे हैं बल्कि दुनिया की जरूरत भी पूरी कर रहे हैं सो इट इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ द ग्रीन रेवोल्यूशन बट देर आर वन ऑफ द अनदर रेवोल्यूशन डेट एन एज व्हाइट रेवोल्यूशन सो व्हाइट रेवोल्यूशन यूजली एसोसिएटेड विद द इंक्रीजिंग इन द मिल्क ईल्ड ऑफ द डिफरेंट कैटल्स सो इसमें दूध और दूध के उत्पादों को ज्यादा से ज्यादा कैसे प्राप्त हों इसके लिए अलग अलग प्रकार की एक्सपेरिमेंट करके संक्रमण करके और ऐसी उन्नतशील एनिमल की वैरायटी प्रोड्यूस की गई जो जो एनिमल ब्रीडिंग के द्वारा और उसकी वजह से आज हम बहुत हद तक मिल्क के प्रोडक्शन में सेल्फ रिलायंट हैं और लगभग भारत के अलग अलग कोनों तक हम दूध और दूध से जुड़े हुए प्रोडक्ट को भेजने में सफल हो पा रहे हैं तो ये बच्चों इस आप समझ गए होंगे ग्रीन रेवोल्यूशन एज वेल एज व्हाइट रेवोल्यूशन बोथ आर रिलेटेड विद द इम्प्रूवमेंट इन द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द क्रॉपिंग पैटर्न सो डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ द क्रॉपिंग डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ द ग्रोविंग क्रॉप आर यूज फॉर द मैक्म बेनिफिट सो देर आर द मिक्सड क्रॉपिंग सो इन ग्रोविंग वन और two or more crops simultaneously in a same field like a uh, kisan wheat gram or wheat ya mustard ya groundnut or sunflower dono ko ek sath bota hai this reduces the risk when it is if one crop fail to agar ek crop fail ho gayi maan lo wheat ki crop fail ho gayi to mustard aapki grow rahegi khet mein wheat ki fail ho gayi to gram rahega is prakar se mixed cropping ki jati hai intercropping mein uh, Yeah, usually growing two or more crops simultaneously in the same field in alternate row like maize plus soya bean uh, or millet plus cowpea so uh, crop with different nutritional requirement are selected in the intercropping or uh, there is one other method that is known as crop rotation so crop rotation is growing different crop in the same field aapne agar kabhi dekha ho to uh, kisan pehle saal agar gehu ki fasal ugata hai तो दूसरी साल वो सोयाबीन या फिर मूंगफली या फिर गेहूं की फसल उसी खेत में उगाता है सो ग्रोविंग द लेगुमनस क्रॉप आफ्टर ग्रोविंग द सीरियल क्रॉप सो इसमें जो साइंटिफिक कंसेप्ट है इसमें कि जब वो लेगुमनस क्रॉप को ग्रो करते हैं खेत में तो नाइट्रोजन फिक्सिंग जो बैक्टीरिया उनकी रूट मॉड्यूल में लेगुमनस बैक्टीरिया पाए जाते हैं जो लेग्यूम क्रॉप में राइजोबियम लेगुमनोसोरम जो राइजोबियम बैक्टीरिया होता है जो 
फ्री नाइट्रोजन को नाइट्रेट के रूप में तब्दील कर देता है फिक्स कर देता है और नाइट्रोजन की रिक्वायरमेंट को पूरी करने में मदद करता है तो क्रॉप रोटेशन इज डन प्रॉपरली टू और थ्री क्रॉप कैन बी ग्रोन इन एयर प्रॉफिटेबली सो मिक्सड क्रॉपिंग like this and this is the intercropping in a specific row and this is the crop rotation so in the crop rotation if in year 1 malt plus barley and year 2 the spring wheat and year 3 the potato and year 4 the malt barley so in this way the crop rotation being done to uh, make the soil fertile or uh, uh, by the help of this we will be able to make our soil fertile so uh, there is another way that is comes under category of the crop production management so there are so many factor that affect the production of the crop so jab hamare kheton mein crops ban gayi taiyar ho gayi but there are the weeds there are the pests as well as there are the disease which affect our yield so as per as the weeds are concerned so weeds are known as unwanted plant खरपतवार जिन्हें हिंदी में कहते हैं एंड वीड्स कैन अफेक्ट द क्रॉप एज दे यूटिलाइज द न्यूट्रिएंट फ्रॉम द सॉइल दैट आर मीन्ड टू बी यूज्ड बाय द क्रॉप सो दे कम द वीड्स कंपीट फॉर द न्यूट्रिएंट दैट इज फाउंड इन द सॉइल सो देयर आर सो मेनी मेथड दैट इज बीइंग यूज्ड फॉर कंट्रोलिंग द वीड्स वन इज द यूजिंग द वीडीसाइड वीडीसाइड आर द केमिकल्स दैट आर स्प्रेड ऑन द फील्ड दैट कैन किल देम एज दे डू नॉट Har many crops. So there is uh, one of the popular weedicide is known as 2,4-D, 2,4-diphenoxyacetic acid. It is a type of the synthetic oxygen. Weeds can be uprooted manually by the farmers. So this is the mechanical method, and the crop is sown timely, are not affected by the weeds. There are the unwanted insect that are known as pests. Uh, like there are the several insect and pests that are suppose to affect the crop in different ways so they can cut the part of the crops like fruit leaves and stem by boring them so there are the fruit borers there are the stem borers as well as there are the insect or caterpillar that are basically voracious feeder of the leaves so uh, pest uh, uh, usually can get into the stem and root of the plant they suck the cell sap of the plant and hence destroy them so there are so many methods students they, that comes under category of the pest controlling method so there are the different pesticide and insecticide so one of the popular insecticide you have heard about that is known as ddt but now world is uh, in many part of the world uh, ddt is being banned because of the ill effect so but in the 1980 1990 uh, with, uh, world has used the ddt for the in, uh, insecticide as well as uh, for the uh, uh, controlling the population of the pests so there are the crops should be checked <coughs> timely to ensure the safety against the pest there are the usage of the effective cropping pattern such as the crop rotation ensure the insect management in the field bilkul sir aapne bahut hi saral tarike se hamare learners ko ye chapter ke bare yes. mein samjhaya learners agar aapse is chapter mein kuch chhoot gaya ho तो आप कुछ ही देर में इसे हमारे एन ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब पर देख सकते हैं और अगर सर से कोई सवाल पूछना हो तो आप हमें कॉल कर सकते हैं या मेल कर सकते हैं कॉलिंग नंबर है डबल एट डबल जीरो डबल फोर जीरो डबल फाइव नाइन और ईमेल आईडी आपकी स्क्रीन पर फ्लैश हो रहे हैं सर बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आज की इस तमाम गाइडेंस के लिए थैंक यू थैंक यू धन्यवाद लर्नर्स आप कहीं मत जाइएगा हम कुछ ही देर में जल्दी हाजिर होंगे अपने नए सेशन के साथ शुक्रिया